I'm Juice, today is an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna go ahead and take on the physical Orale Doken event stage in which Orale gets her Doken Awakening. And let's go ahead and check it out really quick here. And I'm gonna show you the awesomeness of physical Orale. Now, physical Orale was this unit right here. She's from that other banner that's still up there. And I've said so, so many times in videos on social media, please do not disregard the Orale cards. They are all very solid units. A few of them being physical, and uh, agility and the um, the strength one are all top tier units in their respective niches. For example, strength is an all a hits all unit or hits all enemies unit where like an AOE where they hit everybody in the opponents out of the field like Broly, Majin Vegeta. She's pro honestly I I would go as far as saying she's the best one, but if not, she's top three. Um, agility and they're all farmable super attack by using that tech Arale with a horrible drop rate on that stage where she's in Goku's outfit. She drops and you can use her to farm their super attacks. But the uh, intelligence one is okay. The tech one is the worst one because she doesn't get any Doken Awakening. <laughs> uh, she's just fodder. The physical one here, 120% up when she super attacks on her passive. She has a farmable attack and she has an immense modifier and has a 30% chance to chain super attacks when she super attacks. She's basically God Tanks and Buhan in one card minus like the regeneration and stuff like that. It's really awesome. Um, and the agility one is one of the best AGL units in the game. She's basically ultimate Gohan agility type but with a farmable super attack. So this is normal. You need 77 medals for the physical and then this intelligence one that's free and has been free this whole time. You you need three free wins for which is what 21 medals or whatever. So yeah, let's go to get started. I'm going to use mono intelligence courtesy of Dan. Shout out to Dan. Um, you know, he's a cool guy who had this idea and was like, do this. And I was like, nah, fam, but I still did it anyway. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you happen to be new to the channel. This is the squad. These are the items and let's go. All right. Now, Orale is honestly not that difficult, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, I haven't tried it with an intelligence team, so there's that. I want to try to know items it, but I feel like when I get to the final stage, I'll have to start using items because I know, I know, I know she'll hit me for like 100k, 120k and stuff like that. And it's going to just really fuck my life over. So there's that. <laughs> it's not going to be a good time. It's not going to be easy at that point with the intelligence team. But it doesn't mean I can't win. It doesn't mean that I won't be successful. It doesn't mean that I'm not slurring my words badly. And we're just, we're just going to go. We're just going to go. I'm just, I'm, I'm done. Okay. I'm just, I'm just done. Okay. Cool. Key, please. Please. Yay, key. Oh, hella key. Goddamn. Okay. Can you give me another two? I want the Zenny, bro. No? Okay. Well, screw you two then, fam. Game hates me. Treats me like a dirty whore. Alright. I have my pro setup now. Oh, girl. This is awesome. This is just what I needed. Got freaking Buhan and Android 13 on the same run. Hello? Not gonna lie, I'm multitasking right now. I'm limit breaking my Sasuke as we speak on Ultimate Ninja Blazing. I started playing the game when it was brand new, stopped playing up until like a few days ago. So, there's a lot of new stuff in this game, like that double speed button, limit breaking. I actually stopped playing right as they announced that they were gonna add limit breaking to the game. I don't play the Japanese version, but there's that. So I'm multitasking. Not on this device, of course. Uh, oh, can I like, can I just like do this? Yeah, okay. Girl, I'm gonna save those purples from my boo because my boo has that regenerative ability where he gets same type orbs, he gets more HP regen. So he's gonna get his normal one via his passive, but he's gonna get a little more based on the, the orbs that he's getting. And I run 13 just because I always have to state this because 13 is one of the best orb changers in the game because he changes orbs to rainbow. I'll save the rest of that until he spawns next round and show you guys exactly what I mean. Because I know there's somebody new to the channel that's wondering why I'm running 13. Let's see what he does when his passive activates right here. If he does anything. What are you going to change? He just changed those greens into purples. So that set all this up as opposed to it being like a couple of greens and some random rainbows. I can now get all these orbs, which is perfect for Buhan. He's basically Buhan's best friend, you know, because Buhan loves orbs. It doesn't matter. I could give Buhan these orbs and he would appreciate them and he would get HP regen, attack regen, all that, or attack increase and all that stuff. He doesn't need purple orbs. Also, purple orbs, some people think that purple orbs count as two orbs. They don't. They're just one orb, but two keys, so it doesn't really matter what you give Buhan. 
So 13, creating all that, um, you know, orb combos is awesome for the unit. I'm sorry if you already knew that and I just kind of restated something you knew or have heard me say before, but I always get the question whenever I run intelligence. It's basically why I don't run like that intelligence Goku to make things like rainbow because basically making them, I mean, to make them uh, intelligence because making them rainbow is the better option. Can't wait till I can do and awaken my Piccolo. I don't know when that'll be. It was supposed to have already happened based on data mined information. <laughs> we still can't do it. So one of these days, but I can't wait. It'll be awesome. Mm, give these to my boo. He doesn't really need them, but I'll give them to him. And boom goes the dynamite. The dynamite. Okay, I'm back to this game because I'm done with the Sasuke thing for now. Mm, this isn't my boo either, so I don't really particularly care what orbs I give him. Just wanted a super attack. I fully expect a super attack here as well, by the way, from Arale. I'll do that. Ooh, girl, this is perfect. I just broke off. I just noticed I broke off my 13 from my Buhan, but they'll be back together later. It's too busy worrying about setup that I threw Buhan in the final slot. Or, excuse me, I threw uh, 13 in the final slot. If ever I say things and I derp in the videos, forgive me. I think I uploaded a video like yesterday where I said something and people were like, oh, D Free said this. And st I said double real dough instead of double. Uh, Omega and I'm like, bro, fuck you, okay? Not really, but you know what I mean. It's just like I was I was paying attention, but I was too focused on the commentary. So there's that. And sometimes I talk really fast too, so it's not easy. Get off my back. <laughs> Stop hurting my feelings. <laughs> Stop hurting my feelings. Okay. Um oh they're back together already. GG. Gonna give you the reds. Shout out to Red. If you're watching this baby, say hashtag D free in the comments section below. You know who you are, as Drake would say. <laughs> you know who you are. Uh mm. Well then. What'll I do here? Let's see if they can both tank these all. Piccolo will tank fine as long as he doesn't get super attacked. Of course he gets super attacked. I chose the wrong option. So it threw Janemba there and Piccolo in the middle. But I was afraid that one of the double attacks that Janemba was going to take would have been a super. In before double super attacks, right? Let me actually pick up the pace. I've been playing pretty slow. Yeah. Um. Perfect. Link Stotto. Damn, she hit hard. But it's okay. We're good. Oh, 
Will I make the same decision again? No, I won't because I'm actually going to... to I'll actually heal here. I'm going to kill the big bad bosses, but it's okay. Should win this round. There's no way. Oh, great. And the Doken mode. God damn it. Going to hit for like 300k, 390k. Watch. I know my Janemba so well. I know my Janemba too well. I already know what he's going to do. He's only Super Dark 1, too, so there's that. Oh, maybe he won't because he doesn't have big bad bosses. Eh. He'll do like 280. Calling it. Ah, 230. I was close. Piccolo won't one shot. Piccolo hits like a freaking feather. Knew it. I need to finish leveling up his super attack. Something like super attack six. So now we're on to the big kahuna, the final round of the stage where we fight and the uh, physical Arale. Now she's annoying, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and um Wait, wait, there's my boo. Give him that. Uh, let me actually swap these around. I'm going to see how this pans out before I make an, a choice with items yet. Yeah, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Yemma. Okay. And uh, I'll give my boo all those. Use the Yemma because I didn't trust the super attack. Because I know a super attack will kill me. It'll screw me. I mean, it's not like it's not going to hit hella hard even with the Yemma, right? God damn. Oh, no super attack. Really? The one... I try to use an item and you just... No super... Okay. I see how it is. Hmm. Let me do that. That's the better link. Three attacks, man. Come on. One of those has to be. No, nah, nah. I was going to say, I'm not going to chance it. This thing hits really freaking hard. Arale hits really hard on freaking, um, what's it called? On, uh, just on this stage, on the super attack. I'm not going to chance it. Because I couldn't, I could have survived without using that Yemma if she super attacks the Janemba, but I don't want to chance it. Whatever. See, and she didn't. She's going to super attack one of the other two. I chose right. Before she doesn't super attack. All the times I've done this stage, she's always super attack. Like, first round. Really, Arale? Every time I use an item, you're not going to super attack? Wow. Okay. All right. I see how it is. This isn't even my boo. God damn it. It's not like it means much difference. Anyway, I don't really need the regeneration. And there's triple attacks again. Not happening. Go away. Stop it. Stop fishing for it. Maybe I'll get a stun. That'd be nice. She's not difficult. I'm just scared of that damn super attack. <laughs> I just know what's going to happen. It's going to fuck my life over. Ooh, I got my buddy back, though, so that's nice. Can throw him right there. This is a good round. I don't have to do anything. And yeah, eventually I'll do a video or several videos showcasing every Arale. I'll get around to it. Oh wait, did he get stunned? Or did she, excuse me, get stunned? I wasn't paying attention. I'm still kind of multitasking, not gonna lie. Hmm. I don't trust Piccolo. I don't trust the Piccolo, son. I just doubled Usher tonight. Didn't want to do that, but it's okay. I just don't trust him taking three damn hits. <laughs> I don't trust it. I'm sorry. Generally, you just don't have to use items, but this damn Morale, it's like a fucking truck. I'm not taking it to the face, bro. Not doing it. 
Piccolo is only a tank on normal attacks. A super attack would murder his ass. I do trust Janemba, though. And that's my boo, but it doesn't matter either. Again, it doesn't matter. His regenerative abilities are not, you know, they don't matter anymore because I'm just giving him whatever orb I see fit. And I haven't been taking any damage from this Arale either. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty boring fight. It's not hard, it's not difficult, it's just kind of boring. I would have been done a solid seven minutes ago if I used my strength team. Uh, here we go again without having what I want. I mean, I, at some point, oh, she's stunned. Okay. I was going to say, at some point, you have to think that her attack is low enough from all of those damn Buhan super attacks <laughs> that I can't take any damage. But I wouldn't be surprised. But she's stunned, so it's okay. I'll be damned if she survives this turn and she still one-shots me with the super attack. After all these Vice Shouts and Kamehameha stacking up on her ass. Come on now. Okay. Uh, well. I have damn Piccolo again. In a scenario where I don't want damn Piccolo again. I'll put Turles there just in case I need a stun. Because I'm not... I mean, I, not like I can do anything here anyway. Hey, no super attack. She still hit me for 19,000 damage. God damn, Arale. Really? For real, boo? Anyways, that's been the stage against Arale. I'll be back with some more rounds of this. Just using better teams. Now that this is a bad team, don't get me wrong. It's just the team is obviously at a type disadvantage. So... I could win it in half the time with a team that at least has neutral damage, like physical or villains or whatever. So we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel. This was you, Dan. And I better get a hashtag crowned it on this video again as well because, you know, we did the thing on the video. So anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, peace.